what is going on everybody farm sim freak here and how the hell are we all doing <clears throat> on this wonderful wednesday night made it to the middle of the week as always good to see everybody uh life has been terribly busy for me i am sorry i've not really been around much but i've had to take care of myself a little better we are back though and uh let's see how tonight goes we are going to be doing some mod testing for a modder in the community on a little uh, project he's been working on for a while. We might go on to a crazy huge map. I'm going to stick to the 32X for now. Good to see you, Bill. Meritez, sweetheart, good to see you. Waylon, good to see you, buddy. So we're going to be testing out a mod known as the Tribine. Uh, it is a real-life piece of equipment. It was a mod in FS19. I really liked the way it looked. I wanted to mess with it. Almost bought FS19 recently just to get that and a few maps that I wanted to play on. But long story short, a friend of mine built this mod, and I'm he uh, he likes the way that I test stuff. So we're gonna put the old uh, farm sim freak touch on this and see how it does. We have a bunch of header testing to do. We are over on New Horizon 32x map. And this is the Tribine. This is what he's been working on. We're going to start with the honeybee headers. I need to find a field that we can start uh, harvesting. Oh, let me get the music going too. Train horn. It's got the dual exhaust coming out of the back. <laughs> Rooster on a hay pile. Very slow. Oh, it's okay. I understand, Marites. You do what you got to do. So this is what we're going to be messing with today. Uh, show it off in the store. Uh, still much work to be done. GPS. Short pipe or long pipe. I would always go with a long pipe. Uh, wheel weights only for now. The wheels have not been messed with. This is just a standard tire and wheel combo that comes on this. And you got two different setups. You got 650 or 820 for your horsepower. And either 120,000 or 37,500 liter capacity on the tank. Husky, good to see you. So that's what we're going to be messing with tonight, doing some testing. Thank you, Meritez. Appreciate you. Yeah, we got quite a few fields to choose from here. I need something that we can harvest, though. Mind you, this is a 32x map, so... These fields may be... Some of them may be small, but they're actually quite large. Ready to harvest. Come on. So we're going to look at these three here, those two, and two, eight, ninety-seven. So 208 for sure. Four. All right, we're here. That's going to be a pretty long drive. I don't think I'm going to drive there. We could. Well, then I gotta get the header down there, too. <laughs> Stibbins. 
<laughs> it's good to see everybody. Uh, do I want to risk it? I think I'll just sell it. lights on it so lights are working on the back four ways are working reverse lights are working those flash I'd like to see those come on as ambers as running lights got those on the back but I'd like to see the ambers come on on the front that would be cool but so be it are working he hasn't modified the exhaust yet but this thing is gonna roll coal when he's done with it Just gonna fly over there. Hope everybody is doing well. couple of fields here we can do some testing spell <laughs> sag the raptor <laughs> so 197 we're gonna buy that one too Tribines. Gotta have the black chrome. It does have a full variety of colors. Now we have to test a bunch of headers today. So what I think I'll do is a down and back pass. are decent on this thing too. Auger pops up as you open up the bin. 
Your straw comes out of the side with the screws. All this should work, too. It does articulate in the center. He already knows we got to get the wheels working properly so it four-wheel steers. Start over on the other field over here. As long as I can get through the uh, trees, probably over on this side. Forty mile an hour top speed. It's decent. Yes, it does have a Jake brake. <laughs> Choppers are animated on the side and the screw augers on the inside. Straw comes out on both sides in this thing, too. Ooh, yeah, I like the straw. That is sweet. The animation's looking good, too. wonder if we can get it a little closer. It's got to be a little more centered, too. So the passenger side straw swath has got to pop out just a little bit further. Because I'm uh, going to take this as serious as possible, being a mod testing going on. Oh, I don't have a pen here. Oh, no. Where did I put my damn pen? Oh. this stuff down while I'm seeing it. I hope everybody's doing good. It's good to see you all. Okay. Well, so far, it's working really good. This is only one header. How far down the field are we? <laughs> yeah, this is going to take a while. 
see how it does under high speed. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. Nope, I was wrong. We're okay. We are all right. So yeah, as of right now, it's just that straw swath's got to be moved out just a little bit further. This one's okay. That looks good. Looks, the animation looks great. I love seeing that spitting on both sides. Oh, no, it's nothing that I don't like. I'm just saying if you see the uh, passenger tire is still running over the straw swath, but it's not doing it on the driver's side. I was just seeing if there's any way you can move that out just a little further. I mean, it's working good, though. On this first pass, I haven't seen nothing yet. Yeah, that's the one. That's it. Because I, I already know, you know about the tires not turning. And that's something that you've got to mess with. But so far, it's good. And it does, it goes full speed. This is just one header, though. I'm going to go through all the honeybees. And uh, I have a few others. It's doing perfectly fine at full speed too I haven't seen it miss anything yeah but it's not really it's not a big deal it still articulates and the rear tires turn it's like a damn it's like a forklift sort of without the articulation but it's we got the biggest the uh, 260 with the Crary system on it and it's uh, it's doing really good get to the end of the field I'm going to switch the header to something else and yes you were right I love the straw <laughs> Yeah, it's not missing anything. Woo! We're cooking there. Yes. <laughs> As it should. As it should. Try this again. Articulation looks good. Uh, 
Ah, ja. Oh, what are you doing, AI? Straighten this out real quick. See, that's funny. Now look at this header, though, Keith. Like once it's like they stay together, and now it's the other one. Now it's doing it opposite. Now the <laughs> huh? It might be something to just have to deal with. See, look, it's splitting up now. It's the header. It's not bouncing anymore, but it's kind of funky. Oh well. Yeah, see look, now it's ch it's changing alternating sides. Which side's going out faster uh out further than the other? Oh, well, I'm going to switch to another header when I get to the end of the field anyway, so Uh, this is New Horizon 32X map, and it's actually really well done. There's plenty of cell points, um, pre-builds and such. Yeah, this is a 32X map. I was having some performance issues with that other map. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to attempt it again here on stream, but I was already set up on here. truck. Ooh, what do I, I like the Kenworth better. Huh. Something happened. Why don't I have... Logan, good to see ya.
I break my truck? truck. There we go. Five million liter capacity just so I can empty this thing. Oh, and 37,500 is uh, realistic capacity. Yes. Okay. Malachi, good to see you. Appreciate you stopping in. All right, let's slow this thing back down to six. See, now it's working. <laughs> 1K push. Jesus. tires are like compressed the combine this is the tribine it's, it's WOP work in process it's all good I haven't been on in a week anyway real life is more important Five Gen, good to see you. Yes, this is uh, a mod that's been worked on for a while now. And there's still a ton to do to it. It's been a decent day. Yesterday was rough. I slept for 12 hours yesterday. I literally was in bed and asleep by like 7, 10 at night, and I didn't wake up until like 7 in the morning. No. No. No, this is a project by Mr. Bleeker in chat. This will go lovely, lovely, lovely with the uh, Deutz. One day, Keith, I'd love to see my Farm Sim Freak logo right there. <laughs> But it's not necessary, of course. So we're testing a bunch of different header combinations on this. I'm going to go through and, and pick and pick and choose uh, modded headers, base game headers, and just seeing how it does. And as stated before, the straw ratio is one to one on both sides. So you're getting double the straw. And then you can come back. There's a nifty little header that you can come back and get more straw, uh, more seed out of the straw that's on the ground. So we'll jump this back up to 40. 
and get to the end of the field, sell this header, grab another one. At some point. At some point. It ain't necessary, Keith. I'm just uh, thankful for you letting me uh, test this. This is by far one of my favorite mods that I never got to play with on 19. I didn't get into PC gaming until FS22 was uh, well on its way. It's getting there. But he does very good work. Brownie lady, hello, Diana. I hope you are doing well. All right, so funny as well. I'm guessing it's the field precision farming, but I got double the amount of grain with the smaller header. I think I'm gonna go to Medicine Creek also for some corn. Exactly, you're doing a good job though, man. Let's go in here. Awesome, Malachi, I just saw your comment. That's good, make sure you drop some uh, photos. So I wanted to go through all these honeybees. Let's go with this. Oh, it's at the other end. John, appreciate you. Well, I need the specs on the old tower so I can put it out there because I might have a few people interested. Appreciate you, John. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna buy another one. It just looks good. I love I just love the look of this combine. Appreciate everybody's love and support. Thank you for coming in and hanging out. We are just getting going here. Not even in the first hour yet. And we are going to uh, keep testing this tribine. looks decent on there. Whoa, buddy. And how much are you looking to get for it? Well, 
I will uh, I will keep the word out there. If you got some photos, you can DM me. Um, when you when you get your new one set up and you get your old one disconnected, send me some photos of it so I've got something to go by and all the information you just told me, and I see what I can do. Daniel, appreciate you. Good to see everybody. What's everybody getting into tonight? What's everybody else doing? We might rock over on Twitch at some point later. I don't know yet. Haven't decided. I think it's going to be a late night stream. That's fine, man. No rush. field to uh, try out too. We might just uh, hop over there on the next pass back. Daniel, it's okay. I understand. Real life is important, man. You know, if you ever watch the live streams after they're done and I'm not live, you know, leave a message, comment on it. Just say, hey, you can say hi, whatever. That's cool too. It's all good, man. I'm gonna start putting out a bunch of shorts too now that I've uh, figured out how to do it. Thank you, Marites. She uh, taught me how to do it on mobile and I couldn't figure it out. And Malachi, I don't know if you saw, uh, beta testing is out version 1.50 on ATS. It came out yesterday or the day before, something like that. I don't know exactly. But nothing as far as maps yet. I'm kind of, uh, shocked that we haven't gotten a new map yet. got FS22 nice awesome what kind of maps do you like to play on North American style Canadian uh, Brazilian South American European you have a preference I want to look at that new one that came out. Uh, I believe it's a French style map, Pelegni, something like that. It looks really nice. No idea, just started. Well, I would say definitely start on the base game maps. Unless there's one that you've seen me or other YouTubers playing that you're interested in. straw coming out of this oh this is 
This is New Horizon 32X map. And this is a PC only map. We, uh, we might show off some insanity tonight, too, and jump on a 45-kilometer map. It's, it's gigantic, obnoxious, crazy. <laughs> Brandon, good to see you, man. Hope you and the family are doing well. Yeah, you probably got to clean it. Now, if it's a... I'll jump in there in a little bit, Malachi. I got to go and get my dessert. I made tacos for dinner. I got apple turnovers for dessert. Um, if you're PS4, if you can, there's a top cover you can slide off with your fingers. If you grab the side of it and pull it towards you. Like, so your disk drive will be here and your button's here. And then this cover, it's like a shiny, like, glossy cover. You can slide that cover off and clean all the dust out from under there and check your vents, too. You might have to clean it. You don't need to necessarily take it apart all the way, but you can slide the top cover off of the hard drive for the PS4 and clean under there. Yeah. All right, this is actually, this header's working decent. I like this. Be right back, everybody. Like giant, giant mass for multiple people. Uh, no, I, I enjoy it, especially being able to be on PC now and not on console where I was limited to two X maps. Fresh apple turnovers. Oh my goodness. Where have you been all my life? Susanna, good to see you. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate the like and share.
what's going on. Daniel, another farming sim guy. Oh, watch, he also plays American Truck Sim. Well, there's a bunch of us that do that, especially simulator games, any and all driving style simulator games. That's usually what most farm sim streamers will play in their off time, something like that, on Twitch. That's why I didn't link my Twitch account with Giants. <laughs> so I can do my other things and not be restricted to just farming simulator. Because that's how it is here on YouTube. All I can do is farm sim. And I'm okay with that. Good turnovers. <laughs> What's up, Gaza? Yeah. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, if you honestly, if you had a mouse, keyboard, and at least a monitor with it, you'd probably sell it way quicker, too, because then somebody doesn't have to go to two different places to get everything, you know? Even if you went and got a cheap Walmart monitor that's less than $100, you know, just to get a deal together, it might sell quicker. I'm thinking if you if you sold it as a package deal, you'd probably get it gone quicker, but you don't have to either. You sell just the PC, screw it. And if it <laughs> if it doesn't sell, then take it apart and sell it part by part. <laughs> Charles, good to see you. Daniel, you have a good night. Thank you for stopping in. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it it could also it could also be going to a kid where the monitor doesn't matter, where they have no clue what they got. Ooh, it, it has flashy lights. Ooh.
Oh, yeah. I don't risk any of my hardware. I play on low or medium settings. That's it. I don't even... I I have no money to be spent on fixing broken stuff. And this PC is almost a year and a half old now. And I've had not a one bit of trouble. Just my own stupidity. That's the only trouble that I've had doing the wrong thing on the computer. But nope. I like the 30 second or 30 feet warranty. <laughs> 30 seconds or 30 feet, take your pick. There's your warranty. <laughs> Give me my money. Goodbye. <laughs> Gabriel, good to see you, dude. See you too, Gabriel. Bestie Mio, hello, hello. Oh, yeah. 20 likes in the first hour. I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. I try. I'm trying to get better. I gotta start messing with videos eventually. I just have to go through and test multiple headers. That's all I'm doing tonight. This is testing for Mr. Bleaker. map. I'm going to have to go over to that 45k map. Yeah, we'll do that after a pass with this. We're going to go over to King Corn map. We'll do some corn header testing.
Trevor, good to see you. Double the straw, headers not bouncing anymore. Good morning, Mayan. Good to see you. It's good to see everybody. I needed to take a break. That's why I've been gone for about the past week or so. Same with the week before that, one stream. Uh, just life has been uh, crazy, and I haven't had a minute of time to myself. And yesterday, yesterday was like, the final straw and I slept for 12 hours home shower in bed by 7 o'clock did not wake up until 7 o'clock this morning uh, physically not even mentally just physically exhausted working on I've had five different customers after work side work side mechanic work going on then my roommate's truck broke down and I had to help him. He's elderly. I couldn't leave him stranded. I had to fix his truck. And that was it. My legs were my legs were toast. From the knee down, I could barely feel my friggin' legs. And they were just my thigh my calves were pulsing. Like underneath the bottom of my kneecaps, just they were just vibrating, would not stop. Laying down, standing up, it didn't matter, it hurt. It was absolutely terrible. too much too much all too fast and very little sleep two or three hours of sleep not even and that was on the weekends but I have a lot going on but I'll save it for twitch Oh yeah, I haven't been gone. I, I threw out a couple of shorts, but... Oh, I was still in contact with Mr. Green and Eric every single day, so... No, it don't matter. It's all good. I'm about to fight a monster here. 45 kilometer map. See how long it takes to load in. Uh, to save the game, it's about five to seven minutes. I gotta hope I have all the mods installed. So yeah, we got about five minutes to wait here before I uh, load into this map. Oh, you're gonna see my frame rate is gonna drop insanely. I can just barely play this map. Couldn't go with a smaller one? No, I can't. I can't, Keith. I gotta go with this. I forgot I have the smaller one, too. Of course. Still hungry to pork cracklings now. Jesus. Oh, we're at 35%. <laughs> oh, yeah. You might, you might have to. That might have to be the final breaking point for the PC. Drop me on that 512. Yeah, Keith's got a map that's 512. X or 512 kilometer and there's actually field on it. It's not just like an open map. No. 
No, it was set up. Next up is 128. Okay. There was a competition that was done on this map to see how much corn could be harvested off of it. So somebody took it and went in easy dev and made all the fields corn. This one is not set up like that. Random fields, but only... But look, there's only... 14, 15 fields that are defined. All those blue cell points are are just the uh, universal cell point that's in the ground. It's all fields. There's no buildings except for this farm here. And well, no, those are cell points. They're just universal. It takes everything. And this is starting equipment that they give you. We're not using that. Yep, so I need to buy a tribine. And to purchase some fields, too. Yeah, the fields look tiny. They're not tiny. They're not tiny. Looks close until you drive there, exactly. Uh, yeah, you're like, where's the end of the field? Well, the, the Lizard Colossus would fill up like insane. Oh yeah, there's no map borders either on this, so you just fly right off the edge of the map. But it takes you about 10 minutes uh, across the map at like 150 miles an hour. see yeah okay so yeah you can see the fields I mean you know how long it's gonna take you to drive from there <laughs> so we want eight er, yeah eight seven eight and six. Oh, I have to purchase the whole plot. Eighty-six million dollars. Okay. So we need two hundred and fifty million. It's I like it better than government subsidy where I have to skip time. Fastest yeah. Fastest I got going is eleven. 150 miles an hour. Okay. Start you with all this stuff. Yep. Yeah, you start with all this equipment, but it's all base game. <laughs> so, still, good luck. Good luck. Or any combine that you, you just... You can just edit any combine. It's really simple, I guess, to just change it.
you just want tons of workers and you just run an auger the whole time. You'll be just driving for like four hours straight and you won't even get emptied half done. So let's see. I can't remember if I put follow me on. Oh god, I hope I put follow me on. <laughs> nope. Nope. I forgot it. It's my own fault. Oh well. So we need to go that way, and it's going to take us a while. It looks like it's right there, it's not. I'm, I'm just testing this on this thing here. Oh, it's all right. I'm going to go to another field there. I wish these fields were planted here, but they're not. She's lurking. She's probably going to go live here in another two and a half hours or so. God, I keep forgetting it's still light out now. Almost 8 o'clock, still light out. Well, where I'm at in Florida, it stays light a little longer because you can literally see the sunset on the west coast where I'm at on the east coast. It's some crazy shit. You gotta think I'm at the bottom of I'm at the bottom of the country and right on the other side of me is the Gulf of Mexico I'm on the East Coast I'm in Jacksonville Beach but I can literally you can still see the Sun because where I'm at I'm so close to the equator so we have a little more sunlight it's some weird weird stuff I've never I've always been on the East Coast like but I'm Connecticut so it's just been normal. Okay, sun goes down at 8 o'clock, 8.30, you know. Down here, nope, 9 o'clock, it's finally dark. see it's funky it's either the field or there's something going on here that's weird well it's pulling two extra rows next to the combine not in front of the header though it's the, the field something with the field maybe I don't know header or the field but oh god this map is so laggy The RPM gauge goes up on the side of the on the console. That's cool. It's rear steering or articulated with rear steering only. The front wheels do not steer. Uh-huh.
Kendra, good morning. Good to see you. Hope you and the family are doing good. Trio, good to see you. I have no clue. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Nothing on that field. I do have corn right here. Okay. Oh, it's not ready to go. No way. This map is just so big.
even halfway from where I was at. It's just fields. Just driving this back towards the farm. And it's still taking this long. I'm almost at the fields. Appreciate your Mayan. Sunflowers. Appreciate you, Mayan. Mio, good to see you both. Appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. And even 
make it to the end of the field yet? Or did he just stop? Come on, where are you? Ooh, oh, just now turning around. Oh no, it's gonna save now. I'm gonna be here for a minute, folks. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be here for a minute. Still saving. <laughs> finally done saving. Well, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah. So actually, I think I am going to quit this map and I need to get some, try some corn harvesting on another map. have a version of Medicine Creek. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got Lone Oak, but I can't be playing that on YouTube. Yeah, Lone Oak is on uh, King's Mods, unless they took it down. Meritez, sweetheart, good to see you. Oh, what else? 
Probably needed something else. Make sure that was on. Oh, really? And good to see you. Waylon, you get some rest, buddy. We'll see you soon. Appreciate you stopping in. Gotcha, Meritas. Okay. Thank you for hanging out. start a fresh game. headers too but we're gonna get the tri bind now so we don't forget underground storage in case Thank you. 
TJ, good to see you. Cut up earlier than usual, that's good. Ooh, did I break it? I might have broke it. I broke it, didn't I? I think I broke the map. here in a minute. Let's see. Farmhouses. Yeah, yeah, I, I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. Uh, yeah, and taking a break. Uh, thank you. I was about to freak out, being like, where did my UMRV save go? Ooh, I don't know if I have corn planted. Never mind. Oh, what am I going to do here? I need to do... I need something that's got corn ready to go. Middleburg did, but I deleted the map. Of course. I guess we can go on here. Let's try this. Let's try this and see what happens. But yeah, a lot of work, side work, and the side work has taken up all my free time.
corn almost ready to go right there and that'll be more than enough we're just gonna skip time the normal way Thank you for hanging out, my end. Hope you're having a wonderful and blessed morning. Fallout shelter game. Oh, there you go. Uh-huh. Well, it doesn't need one, it just, I feel like it would be a bigger selling point to be like a complete unit ready to go. Hmm. 
Oh, there you go. Okay. Here you go, Keith. Uh, it's it's allowing for corn stalk straw, but it is not coming out of the combine. Yeah, that's, that should be piles, though. sweetheart good to see you thank you for hanging out appreciate everybody coming in tonight No, they're all set up for it. They should all work, even the base game ones. But I just want to see if it's an invisible pile or it's actually not spitting it out and it's something with the mod where it's stating that it's dropping straw but it's not doing anything. It's just an effect. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. I don't know what that is, yeah. Love that. <laughs> the original bull, Deutz Bull from 19, had the red LED headlights. And I had talked to Keith. I was like, I would love to see that on your Deutz to have those red LEDs. And he was able to finally get it to work with color. For the longest time, couldn't get it. But now, so this is just a much better, way better version of the Deutz Far Bull that's out there and the bull only came in this one color scheme black on black and it had the red LEDs without the bull horns and all that but the plan is this is going to be for all platforms one day Is it going to pick it up? Yup, it's picking it up. Wow. Oh, I guess there's a little bit. It just doesn't show up as a lot of detail. I didn't think that was going to pick that up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There was a uh, nice case harvester that came out today, the uh, 130.
That was funky. In reverse, it went seven miles an hour and then it did like a second startup. But I do remember him saying there's two engines in this combine actually. Gotcha. So it dumps uh, corn stalk for the straw. It just does, doesn't drop a lot either, Keith. I don't know if that's something on the mod side. I don't think it is. This is a totally different one. This has got the smaller engine with the long pipe on it. So far, I mean, it's working phenomenal on the corn, too. It's not level ground. It is still dropping straw, though, which is nice. Or stalks. articulation comes in handy. Like taking that corner. I think that's a problem with the field, though. It's definitely the field that's bouncy. You've got the uh, you've got the header fixed, Keith. I have not ran into one issue yet. Yeah, any of the spots that I'm missing, that's just it bouncing on the ground. It's the ground bounce. It's the way the field is uh, shaped and contoured. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, you did you did good, man. So far, I haven't run into any severe problems yet. Especially running the the uh, the Duras that 60 footer with no issues. Once that happened, I I knew it wasn't going to be a problem. The straw, phenomenal. That is uh that is good. It's not it's not like overkill. Yeah, it's double the straw, but it it's not bad. It's manageable still, and I feel like you could still get it set up with Follow Me. You have a uh, windrow behind the tri tribine, and then have a baler behind the windrow. You could be pumping out a serious amount of bales. I'll have to mess with that theory. Well, the, the tribine has a hitch on the back, but I don't know if it'll operate a windrow. So, I can actually try that, but I would have to see. I would still want something with follow me doing the bailing. It's one less thing I have to do. Mr. Pepper, good to see you, man. I've already said I am just waiting on my income tax check to come in and I'm sending him his graphics card. And he'll be back trucking. I'm hoping we get a new state soon. I'm kind of shocked that it's taken SCS so long to make the next state after they dropped how many in the past year? Yeah. We, we got a bunch, but I think, I don't know, the new, the beta just dropped 1.50. I'm not sure if they did the California rework yet, which they were supposed to add more roads and highways to California. I don't know if that was part of this, but I know that was happening. Then we have Nebraska, Missouri, um, Arkansas. Those are the three that I believe are confirmed, and they might have released, confirmed on another one. Ohio, maybe? We don't have Ohio, right? I'm not sure. I'd ha you'd have to look on Steam. Ooh, yes, Keith, that is awesome too. That's looking real nice. I like that two-tone. And making videos, yes. Get him back in ATS and be able to make videos. It's probably going to be at least another week or two. Uh, it takes, they said it takes a month to get a paper check, which I don't, I'm still shocked that they're giving me a paper check when I had all of my checking account and routing number ready to go. Like, why can't you just drop it direct deposit? I would have had it two weeks ago. So now, I have to wait for the check to come in, and then take time from work to go to the bank to cash it. Oh, sweet, Keith. And if that's something you want me to play around with too, you can send that my way as well. I'm definitely enjoying corn harvesting with this. I don't really know. I mean, the grain harvesting, yeah, it's it's good, but I think I like the tribine better for corn harvest. I love it for both, but I think I like it this way a little bit more.
see here. Let's let's try it. Why not? Winrow. I wonder. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. No problem, Keith. be a no-go so what I'm gonna do now then get another tractor Appreciate you, DJ. Yeah, exactly. Uh, needless to say, I'll be finding somewhere else to do my taxes uh, next year. Because it's been nothing but a hassle. And it's less than $600. Like, why is this all this hassle for not even a grand? I almost feel like I'm wasting my time waiting on money to come in. Oh, and the fact that I had to go and I owed the IRS $61 because I made too much money because something got screwed up in my taxes with my work. So, I had to go pay them. They wanted over $210. The guy that I saw for the second time I did my taxes felt bad and paid $50 of my debt off as like a, I'm, I'm sorry this has happened to you. So I get that, but then I had to take a voucher from them, go to the bank and get a cashier's check, then go to the post office and mail it certified to the IRS just to get this check for $530 or something like that. Are you kidding me? So I lost two hours pay at work because I had to go from work to the bank then from the bank I had to go to the post office and then from the post office then I was able to go back but two hours of my time wasted so I lost almost fifty dollars <laughs> yeah but it's all sent off so I'm not gonna have any problems with the IRS I just find it funny I bet you like I would be harassed by them for sixty one dollars more than somebody that owes them hundreds of thousands of dollars so I said, you know what, I'm not even going to mess around, I'm just going to pay the stupid thing, but it was like a waste of time. And like, why do I have to, why can't the tax department that I did my taxes with, who speak directly with the IRS, why can't I make the payment with you, and you pay it? Why is that not an option? Exactly. Oh no, we can't do that. That, that was that was the reason I got we can't do that why because we can't well that's not really a good reason that you give a customer especially a customer that's been using this place for the past five years are you kidding me so guess what you're not gonna get my business next year and I'm gonna go to somebody else and probably get more money back in my return anyway yeah oh yeah they ran me through the ringer this year Well, all I can say is don't go to H&R Block. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm good, Meritez. I'm good. I've been plenty patient. That's the problem.
thought it was H and R block. And I've never had a problem with them in all the years that I've had to do my taxes. So I, I'll be going somewhere else next year. I've already got something lined up for next year anyway. But there was nothing I could do. I had two returns that I had to do. And one of them was already like in their system. So I was kind of like bound to using them again this year. I wasn't going to two different places to get taxes done and get charged twice. That's just not happening. Yeah, but they ain't got me for next year, so I'm good now because all my taxes are caught up. And the 61 that I owed was from this year because there was obviously a clerical error on my boss's half. Uh, I've never once owed. Why would I owe? And I'm I'm single... I'm single. Single income. No kids. Nothing. I don't claim any kids. Nothing like that. Nothing dodgy at all. Why did I owe you $61 this year? I apparently made too much money from what I was told. Well, I didn't really see it, so... <laughs> I don't know what you mean by making too much money. Very, very confusing. Yeah, the 530 was from the tax return last year. Yeah, but those mom and pop places are usually the best to go to. Oh yeah, we got we have a couple people near my shop that run their their tax return places right out of their house. Well, still. As the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Well, at least she sent you a letter. She could have she could have been like f y'all and and done nothing, <laughs> and then you just pull up there and the place is gone and you're like, what do I do now? Well, still, you would have made that phone call and it would have been a deadline. It would have been like this phone number is no longer in use. Well, if the business is no longer there, they're not going to answer the phone. Is my <laughs> when I shut my business down, that line went down. So whoever was trying to get a hold of me, nope, you didn't get a hold of me. I was it. Place is gone. Nobody had a personal number for me. Not not in that situation. I got out before I got myself into crazy debt because I already saw it coming. I had a very small operation, but I was doing scrap metal and yard cleanup stuff and plowing driveways. I had commercial accounts, everything. And then one season, I had a bunch of chaos happen and lost a bunch of money on repairing trucks and keeping guys' insurance and everything. I stepped right away. I got everything caught up, and I shut down. And that was it. Gone. Took that phone, and I broke that phone in half. I remember the day I did it, too. I had three phones, and one of them wouldn't stop ringing, and I had that, I'm gone, got rid of all but one phone, and went back to trying to live a normal life. 
uh, I think I actually smashed it with a hammer and screaming at the top of my lungs in like a uh, like mental conniption fit. Hazel Eye, good to see you. Yeah, it was like two out of the three phones were ringing off the hook, and I just went eight, eight nuts. Just smash, 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 smash. That was it. Done. Closed down the business. Laid off the two guys. Like, that's it. Like, it was side work for them anyway, but I still had to have insurance on them for being on people's property, even though they were only part-time employees. I still had to have insurance on these guys. Well, that was a couple thousand dollars a month. Plus the insurance on the three trucks that we had. And then breakdowns included and fuel costs. It was not pretty. And this was at the beginning of my addiction. So it was terrible. I'd make five or six hundred dollars profit a day. It was gone. It was gone. funny Meritez you already can get a hold of me what do you mean See you, Hazel Eye Vlogs. Is that other guy still harvesting? He is! Wow! I'm impressed! to the straw I don't even care oh no he quit because I was going too fast and turning in too many directions just froze <laughs> oh we're good now I thought I my wheel just locked up and just froze I couldn't do anything I'm gonna be switching over to twitch here in a little bit I'm gonna run some miles in ATS I gotta start getting back into streaming twice a day AC kick on. I'm sweating right now. Woo! That feels good. <sighs> yeah, well, I got central air in my double wide. Yes, I do. I. Yeah. Still, I'm in a I'm in a trailer. <laughs> I'm not in a house. <laughs> I'm in a damn trailer. Oh, stop lying to me, Walmart. If you shopped at Walmart, you may be owed up to five hundred dollars. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh huh. I don't believe that at all. Probably just trying to bag me for all the stuff that I've stolen from there over the years. <laughs> uh, 
I hate Walmart. I don't go there. I go to Publix and Winn-Dixie and Dollar Tree. That's it. If I didn't have the dollar store, I wouldn't be able to survive. I don't know what you ladies are talking about, but there's a lot of laughing going on. <laughs> Answer my phone. My phone's not ringing. My phone's not ringing. I'm not doing anything. They're talking about the music that I got playing in the background. It's my soundtrack. It's one of the tracks. This whole playlist is from a game called Heartbound, and it's from a guy, Pirate Software. He worked at Blizzard for World of Warcraft. His father was the cinematic arts director for World of Warcraft at Blizzard Entertainment. His name is Pirate Software on YouTube. He just hit 1.6 million followers. And he's got over like 700,000 on Twitch. And he is the world record hype train holder on Twitch. Level 106 with over 8 million or 8 billion biddies and 56,000 gifted subs in one live stream. One live stream. Insane. This record literally got broken like last week. But I found him through YouTube Shorts and the dude's awesome. He's a he's a video game designer and he's uh, he runs like the biggest ferret rescue in the United States. But this playlist, you can buy it on Steam, and it's a hundred songs that are all made in-house, and it literally comes with a cop with a claim with it that says, "I will not copyright streamers for using this. You just can't restream it by itself. That would be like stealing." So it's just a nice thing he did for the uh, for str other streamers and content creators. But I, he streams 12 hours a day, six days a week. He starts at midnight, his time. He's in Washington. So like three, four in the morning he starts. And I get to listen to him all day when I'm at work. Pirate Software. Look him up on YouTube. He's, he's good. He gives a lot of good advice. But in the, he literally, I watched him go from 115,000 to over a million in less than like three months on YouTube. Like, you, you remember the World of Warcraft episode of South Park? Remember the guy sitting, the, the guy that was cheating in the game, the, the old dude with the glasses, he was the big heavy set dude laying back in his chair that he was that's literally pirate software's father in real life like like no no bs matt and trey worked with this dude's father for that episode <laughs> yes that's that's the guy his name is thor yes with the glasses and he's sitting yep but there there is a short with him and his father and it, he explains it all mm. all right everybody I am gonna shut down here for tonight thank you for coming out and hanging out with me any of my twitch followers I'll be over on twitch here in the next few minutes we will be back live tomorrow night with continued testing of the Tribine Harvester. 
Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Farm Sim Freak, signing off.